Lex, did you know that having sex relieves tension and helps you fall asleep? Nina says while perking her body at a perfect angle facing towards her. Here we go again, Nina. I told you, I have an important meeting with some clients tomorrow, and I really don't have it in me to do anything tonight, okay? Ugh. Nina sighs with frustration while untying the top of her shirt to reveal a little more cleavage. Come on. All I need is 10 minutes. I read that doing it releases chemicals that lower stress levels, and I could really do with that right now. Nina says while attempting to grind her body against Lex's. Babe. Knock it off. It's one in the morning. I'm really not in the mood. And I can barely open my eyes. You've been at this all week. What did I tell you? Go and find something boring to do. That will make you sleepy. Listen to a podcast or read a book or something. Fine. Nina sighs in disappointment. Then she switches on her nightlight and starts reading a book. For goodness sake, not inside the bed, Nina. If you want to overcome your insomnia, you need sleep hygiene. That means no phone, no watching series in bed, and turning off the lights in the bedroom, including the little lights on the TV. Your brain needs to associate the bed with only sleep so that it releases sleep hormones when you come to bed at night. But last time you said that the bed is meant to be associated with sleep and sex, right? Come on. I know you want me. I could do that little thing you like so much. Oh, you're unbelievable. You're so hot when you do that. But... <laughs> Babe, please, just do it yourself tonight, okay? I really have to get up in the morning. Lex reluctantly takes Nina's arm out from under the sheets and away from her body. Nina brings her hand beneath the sheets. Lex can hear the soft moans coming from Nina, and she begins to feel a little flustered herself and can't help but feel tempted to join in. She turns her body over and grabs Nina in close to her, wrapping her legs in between Nina's. You never behave, do you? Always causing problems for me. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson, she says while perching on top of her. Did you keep that sleep journal as I told you? Noting down each and every time you wake up and fall asleep so that you can track it? I also told you to only use positive words when referring to your sleep, didn't I? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Nina stutters submissively. Maybe I'll just have to help stimulate some more positive emotions with the bed so that you can get the sleep you deserve. Nina lays on top of Lex's chest, breathing heavily as they try to catch their breath. They are both calm and relaxed now that the tension in their bodies is gone. They can both finally focus on one thing, sleep. And just like that, they drift off into a glorious slumber.